Finally. And I thought the walk there took longer. No, I couldn't. I told you to keep your head still, remember? You can't do that if you're bouncing around on my back, now can you? No, it's not an excuse. Look, I promised I wouldn't force anything on you. That includes having you on my back. I just don't want your neck wound opening up again. That's all. It doesn't matter. We're home. We're here. Just let me help you down. We can't have you banging your head in the doorway. Easy. Go slow. You're still pretty unsteady. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you did just go four days without food or exercise. Even if your legs weren't all chewed up, I don't think you'd be very steady. Look, just let me get you a chair. I won't touch you any more than I have to. I'd offer you some of the wolf stew, but I had to throw it out. I hate wasting food. But, even cooked, the meat only lasts so long before it goes bad. <sighs> Just as well, I suppose. It was kind of gamey. There's plenty of dried meat for later, but you should probably just have something soft for now. There's, um, still some mushroom soup from yesterday. I'll just warm that up. Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Fish stew and mushroom soup. It would be so easy to keep him here. I know I said I'd let him go. So easy. He wants to die anyway. How do I know letting him go isn't why he died? How do I know he won't just kill himself as soon as he leaves? How? No. No. It was a dream. Just a dream. Nothing more. Nothing. I was just thinking. Oh, nothing important. Nothing, nothing to worry about. The only thing you should worry about now is getting some food in your belly. Here, eat slowly. You need to get used to having food in you again. Don't worry, I'll make something fresh for dinner. Yes, I said I'd let you go. As soon as you've healed enough. No, you're not a prisoner. You can leave any time you want. I just wish you'd... I wish... <sighs> I just wish you'd tell me why. Do I remember your bath? Of course. I remember everything about that day. Why? Yes, I did say fate brought you here. I explained that one other reason could... That's... That is not what I meant. It can't- You thought I was saying your whole family got sick and died just so you'd wind up here? Just to keep me company? You really thought that's what I meant. By the gods, that is not what I meant. I just- I wanted to help you. I didn't- Well, yes, I did take you by force, but you wouldn't listen and- But I only tied you up because you- Well, yes, I did sit on you, but would you- would you please stop interrupting me? <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay? For everything. For chasing you down, for tying you up, for sitting on you. Everything. But really, you wouldn't even give me a chance. I only wanted to help you. Maybe have someone to talk to for a change. But as soon as you saw me... You called me a monster and ran. Look, maybe I should have just left you alone, but do you really think you'd still be alive if I had? Please don't say that. Please. Of course it does. 
Do you really think I would have gotten my legs chewed up if it didn't matter? What? What are you staring at? <laughs> you didn't notice? Really? I know the limbs better now, but the bandages... I guess being unconscious for a few days wasn't very good for your perception, now was it? Hopefully getting some food in your belly will help clear your head. You're... You're welcome. Hey. Listen. The bed's still here. I know you want to leave, but you can barely walk right now. So, how about you at least spend the night? Just to get some of your strength back and think about what you want to do. <sighs> yes. The bedding's gone. I had to make bandages out of it. I'm making covers from the wolf pelts, but I've just been putting more wood on the fire at night. No. I won't tie you up if you say no. And no, I won't sleep in front of the door. I still want you to stay, but it's your choice. I won't force you. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, done eating? Okay. Uh, let's get you to bed, then. <laughs> I know it's too early for bed, but I still need to change your bandages. You can get back up after that if you want. I'll even move the chair out front for you. At least until I'm done working on the hides. It's probably better if you're safely inside while I'm getting our dinner. No, I'm not locking you in. The door doesn't even have a lock. Look, let's just get your bandages changed and go from there, okay? Okay. Careful with the head. Lean on me if you need to. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll feel much better tomorrow.